Good evening. An overwhelming rejection for Albuquerque Public Schools tonight as all three money measures have failed, putting about $900 million in school and classroom projects in jeopardy. News 13's Chris McKee has been tracking the results. He's live at APS. Yeah, Jessica, the results weren't even close, with one of these measures being defeated by voters by at least 14,000 votes. And in some cases, a couple of these measures went down by far more numbers of votes. The district was asking for a nearly 5% increase in property taxes, but voters made it clear tonight they're not on board with the idea. As ballots rushed in, I think education and schooling is really important. Some voters were optimistic that APS's $900 million tax package for school building projects and classroom equipment would pass. Well, I definitely believe on improving our schools. I think we can spend it on our, on our future and on our kids. But overwhelming results tonight showing the district will have to go back to the drawing board on how to fund dozens of planned improvements. I think anything would have been too much. Voters rejecting all three of APS's tax measures on the ballot, including a $200 million bond and two property tax levies that would have raised property taxes by nearly 5%. It would have cost most homeowners an estimated couple hundred bucks a year. I think APS has other money, other ways of getting money rather than taxing all the property owners in Albuquerque. That view contrasting from those vocally in support. And they need um, upgraded facilities. We've really got to you know, put the money into the APS as much as possible. It was the first time voters didn't go to the polls for an APS election, just a mail-in ballot. And more voters took part, nearly 29% of eligible voters casting ballots. Past elections like this usually drew turnout in the single digits. For rebuilding aging schools. Re Superintendent Raquel Reedy releasing a statement tonight saying she's disappointed in the outcome and that the district will need to reassess its situation to fix aging schools. Now, as for what's next for APS, it will address the results of this special election tomorrow morning at a news conference at Grant Middle School. That is one of the schools that APS had earmarked for improvements with the bond and levy money it was asking for voters for tonight. Back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Chris. The last time an APS bond measure failed was all the way back in 2002. That came shortly after the district had paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy out Superintendent Brad Allison. 